I'm going to start joining in with Janine's well-wishing gardening. She's a wonderful gardening channel and I've been watching her garden channel probably for about uh, three or four years. She has done a wonderful job. She's a wonderful friend and go check her out. She does a lot of great gardening in a small space and gets us lots of inspiration. Just because you don't have a big yard doesn't mean you can't put a wonderful garden in. And she has a series that you can share and join in every week with, the success and failure in anyone's garden. We don't all have great successes every time. Sometimes something goes wrong, like right now it's very hot where I live. So that's what my success is going to be about today. And maybe a failure. I'm going to try to bring it back. So that's what this video is going to be about. Well, don't forget to go check out this wonderful challenge and it's an open collab. Anyone can join in anytime. I was just in the backyard and I noticed this little baby Japanese maple was almost dead. I was so unhappy because I watered it yesterday good, but I guess I'm gonna have to move it into the total shade. It's just too hot and the poor little plant can't handle it. As you can see, I have a little fairy chair next to it, so you can see how tiny this little plant is and delicate. So it's going further into the fairy garden where it's not going to get any sun. I really watered it well today, but it's going to be another scorcher. So no more time in the sun for this baby. We'll see if we can revive it back. We'll do an update maybe tomorrow or the next day and let you see if it's doing any better. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. This is another Japanese maple that I grew from a baby and it was a little bigger and it was a bigger container and it survived and it was in the same area. But I have already learned my lesson. Both these plants are going further into the fairy garden where there's more shade and less sun, especially in all this summer heat. I think this one will survive. It looks like it's doing great. This one on the other hand may not, but we'll see. You never know. Sometimes just a little more shade, a little more water will revive some plants, but we never know for sure what's going to happen. Well, I hope you enjoyed what we shared today on Garden Tour Saturday. We didn't have a lot to share with you and we did the best we can and sometimes we have a lot to share a lot of things are blooming and it's not that i don't have things blooming but i have most of the things sort of dying because it's just getting too hot my garden has passed the prime and we'll see how it does this summer my garden struggles in the summer the worst here because it's just so hot my garden does fine in the fall winter and but summer is what everything gets hard here. Just too hot for the plants. It's not that they're not getting watered. It's just too hot. It's too hot for me. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. There's a little side show at the end of the video sharing my sunflowers and some other plants that are blooming right now. So like I said, a slide show of what's blooming in the garden. And be sure to tape your plants thoroughly watered. Mine are getting watered every day, but it's just too hot for them. And you can't go out and water them in the middle of the day when they probably need the water the most because it's just too hot and all my leaves will get burnt. I do water them every morning and every night at this time of the year. I had a friend that told me she waters her yard once or twice a week. If I did that, I'd have nothing alive in my garden. Maybe it's cooler where she lives and it's just hotter here, but it never stops here. Hot, hot weather. As you can see, this little baby was watered yesterday and it still didn't help it. Now we're gonna water it thoroughly, like I already said, already been watered, and it's going into the deep shaded part of my garden where no sun is going to bake it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video today and Thank you for all your love and support as always, my dear friends.